hello everybody welcome back to my channel it's angela here again today just to bring you a little bit of a something that we're going to be doing in our bakery journal i'm very excited to get started with this as i keep telling you um and today is a special day because i'm also taking part in the challenge hosted by rach and bella crafts called hope and joy 2022 because january is quite a um sort of um, I wouldn't say uh, dark, but I would say it's a month where a lot of people struggle um, with hope and joy, and especially after the two years that we have had. And we want to bring a little bit of, you know, hope and joy to your lives. So I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy um, crafting along, because that's definitely something that brings joy to my day. So I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy that too. Right, I've covered up my little project today. I'm going to share it with you now and we're going to make it. Um, this is part of what we were doing the last time on Sunday when I showed you uh, the couple of recipe cards that I made. And because we're doing a baking um, journal and it's called Baking Bliss, which bliss is really, um, you know, a synonym for joy. Um, you know, I thought I'd carry on with that. So today I'm going to show you how I made this pouch. I'll explain what I'm doing with that in a moment. But um it's got uh, the pages and the bits from my um, new kit called Baking Bliss, which is in my Etsy shop. Um, I've used sentiments because I love my sentiments. So this one's about bake the world a better place. So it's just a little bit of play on the word make. Um, and if you can see, we've got some nice little die cuts there from my new die cut. Um, and this opens up. It's in the very soft colours, which I love. So we've got some twine there. You open those up um, and it's lined. Uh, the pouch is lined. And uh, inside here, um, these are the cards, the recipe cards that we made last time on Sunday. And you can see you can make write the recipes on the back. Um, so that's what that's going to do. This is going to go into our journal project. So that's what we are going to make today. You can see it's fully lined inside there and at the top. Um, and then what I've done is just in with today's theme, I've just added one of the, uh, the words hope and joy, which I've just stamped onto one of the um, little tags from the add-on kit. So that's what I've done. I'm going to show you how I make this pouch today. Um, and we're going to have a little go um, at it. All right, so I'm going to put those in there and I'll take you through. Now, this is um, a sort of concertina pouch, so you could fit loads of recipes in there. And I'll tell you why that's a good thing in a moment, because we are going to be um, taking part. If you are a member of my Facebook group, we are going to be taking part in a little uh, family favorites recipe swap so what I'm going to do is with the members of my Facebook group is I'm going to take out one or two of my family favorite recipes to bake um, and I'm going to put them into the group and we're going to swap those with each other um, and we're going to have a little bit of fun we're going to then because you know it's nice to have a recipe from somebody um, you know, in, that you've made friends within the group or we can intermingle with those and just enjoy, have a little keepsake, uh, a representative of friendship, um, you know, which is joyful as well. Friendships are amazing. Right, so here's our little pouch. I'm going to put that to the side um, and I'm going to just grab the bits and pieces uh, of what we need today. Now, I do have a template for my pouch and a folio uh, which I use in my journals it's called the pouch and folio template I'll put the link in the description box below this video um, but it is available in my Etsy shop if you're interested now it makes this pouch very quick to do because there's no worrying about any of the pieces that need to be measured it's all pre-done for you all right so the first um it looks like this it comes unprinted the the template i've cut mine out here um this one i did on scrap piece of paper that was a misprint but it does all come out white um and you have two liners which you cut two of you've got um the pouch top flap you cut two of and a, ba a base and front bit which you cut one of. Right, so I have done that. I'm going to put those to the side. Now, 
the the lining i've cut out of the lacy paper you know i love using this a lot and it works well because we're doing a vintage baking journal so i've got those two pieces cut out already i have then taken the the polka dot paper the soft pink um, i've cut two of those um, and i'm going to put those together so and then i've used this um backing sheet from the kit and I've cut out one of those. Now, just one little point as, you know, when you're making this, you pick up on little things. Um, one thing I would like to mention, if you've got a one-way design, um, and I don't think this is particularly one-way, but I wanted the, um, I nearly said umbrellas, the aprons to face upright, then make sure, because this is the front, make sure that you put that over there, because if you do it that way, you'll have them the wrong way around. So front which is labeled there make sure that that is the bit if you have a one-way design of course if you're using polka dots or something it doesn't matter all right so i have cut out one of those now with these um you can see that there are fold lines drawn on here and what i like to do here is i like to mark those so once i've cut that out i like to turn those around take um sorry take the pencil so i just line this up at the top here and then I just make little marks where the fold lines are. And of course, this one as well, because that is going to fold in half as well. All right, so I've done that. Okay, um, and then do the, make the marks on these as well. This doesn't need any marks. All right, so let's just put those to the side for the moment. And now I'm just going to line my little marks up and I'm just going to score, not too hard, but just where those lines are. Now, of course, if you don't have a scoreboard, guys, use what I do most often, which is use a ruler and just match up the lines on both sides of your paper. All right, and just use a butter knife or anything else. If you've got a, a bone folder, that's great. I never had a bone folder for many, uh, well, I won't say many, but for a very long time. And I was quite all right with that. Okay, use the back of the scissors for many things. All right, so I've got that there. And now it's just a case of, and this is definitely easier with a ruler. So. And then I'm going to just take my ruler and um, match the two lines up there. And just use my bone folder and score in the middle. All right, so let's just take that out of the way. Right, so let's fold this in half and match that up with the top there quickly. There we go. And um, this is the back, so I'm not worried about that. And then you can open that up. Um, and then we've got these, which we'll fold in a minute. So now you can see that that's the front and that will be the front of our pouch. Okie dokie. So now what we want to do is now um, because I was putting on these little thingies, um, I don't want to particularly um, have a little this paper on its own is only 60 pound weight or 160 grams GSM. I didn't want to punch through one layer. So what I did was I have actually um, put on the liners first. But if you want to put an extra piece of paper on there now, you can do so. All right. What I'm going to do is I am going to stick this down right now. Um, I, this is slightly smaller than the little edges there, but that's OK. It's just to um, line our pouch and make it a little bit stronger. And all I'm going to use here is my um, glue stick. All right, so I'm going to just stick that down like that. And I will put um, a little bit of glue just on the um, edge itself. So I'll just grab my um, fabric tack here. It doesn't matter which glue you use, whatever your favorite is. I just want to get that um, nice and stuck down just on the edges there. And the rest of it will be fine. Okay, let's put that down. So I want to just get that up at the top. And just make sure you get it, match it up nicely at the top there. So 
I'm just getting that nice and even. And then just use your hands and smooth that over. Of course, if you've got one of these, this does the job just as well. Okay. And you want to do that on the other side as well. So let's do that again. Of course, you don't have to use glue stick, you know. Glue in with, with whatever suits you. There we go. Got that there. And now we are going to just put some glue on the edge of this one. Like that. All right. So we were talking about hope and joy earlier. Um, and, well, just thought I'd share with you a few things about what hope and joy mean to me. Oops, I've got that the wrong way. See, this is what happens when you talk and craft. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing here. Well, um, you know, hope is something we all need hope in our lives. I think hope for me tells me that better things are ahead and um, especially after what we've all gone through all over the world and still going through, I think that we like to think that things are going to um, improve and that we can get through the toughest challenges in our life. And I think hope is the thing that carries us through there. So that's what hope means to me about, you know, believing that better things are going to come and I do think that 2022 is going to be an awesome year for everybody on that front alone right um let's see now we've got our little middle bit there that's going to be our fold that's our fold line for the bottom of our pouch now with the fold lines that we have here hopefully you can see those um I'm going to now just fold those in so I'm going to just move that in now the first or well, maybe not the first one we want to do is fold towards the lining and after each one I'm just going to we're going to just do um, a zigzag fold here so we're going backwards and forwards like that and then I'm just going to press them all down so you can see I went that way then backwards then that way and then backwards all right and we'll do the same on the other side so first of all we fold it towards the middle Okay, then again away from the middle, and again away, and then again this way. There we go. So that's that. Okay, there we go. And uh, we will stick those down in a moment. Um, but what I want to do is I want to put on the little circle in the middle here. Right, so I have got a little spongy bit here. Let me grab it. Right, this is just a piece of sponge I use and what I want to do is I think it was I just want to find the center mark which I think was nine and a half centimeters and it is it's down here but we want to have it sort of mm, let's see what I did here um four centimeters so four centimeters is one and a half inches so we want to go like this and we want to get it sort of here but i want that to be also centralized this way gosh that was spot on and that was a guess okay so i've got it that way so we've got halfway mark here um and you know just about an inch and a half inch and a quarter up from the base and i've got a little circle over there okay you want to do that on the front not the back okay just so that i in case i forget to say that Right, um, and then I want to get my little pokey tool. Pokey tool, where are you? Lost it now. Gosh, what have I done with that? Well, not to worry, I'm going to use the pin thing now. I've lost the pokey tool, but it's fine, I've got a pin. I'm just going to put a little hole through the middle here. Now, if you don't have eyelets, you can use your... Um, Sorry, if you don't have brads, you can use your eyelet punch and put an eyelet in here. Okay, so I have got brads. I'm going to just find two little pink ones in here. Okay, so I've got my two little brads. They are really tiny, as you can see. Um, and I bought those from Amazon. So if you're wondering where those come from. Then I've just taken two little one-inch circles 
and I need to punch a hole in the middle of those. So I'm just going to use my needle here because I've lost the pokey tool. And I just want to find the center point here, which is easy when you've got one of these boards. Um, so you just want to get the middle of that and then put the two on top of each other. And then you're able to grip those two together and then press that through there. All right, now I wonder what I, what I did with that pokey tool. Heaven only knows, it's somewhere on my desk. And my desk is pretty neat, so I don't know why I have mislaid it. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Improvise, guys. Right, so we've got those ready. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, we've got our lining on there, and you're not going to see this, but I want to now just push that through the little hole at the bottom there like that and then you're able to open this up nice and flat now i'm doing this before i join the sides together the other one i did i did it um afterwards and it just makes it a little bit more difficult so i thought with this one i would do it before the time okay now i've also got a little circle i've cut out of paper the same paper there it doesn't matter because you're not going to really see this and all I want to do now is just put some glue on this. Um, and this is just going to not allow anything to catch on it. So that's what I've done there. All right. Um, and now we can now close this up. Right, so that can go to the side. I'm going to just use my Fabri-Tac in this bottle. So I'm going to just put some glue on this flat edge here, which is that one and I'm going to do this one at a time I'm going to just grip this at the bottom and close it down and then just guide it with my fingers which are full of glue and dye just guide it to the edge there and press it all right so there we go and I'm just going to put one of my little clips on here, like that. Okay, and now we're going to do the same on this side. So, again, let's just open this up and put some glue on there. And that's going to make a nice little concertina pouch. Right. And again, just grip that at the side and press it down and put on one of my little thingies like that. So we're halfway there, or well, pretty much. Okay, now I'm going to, I've got my little sentiment, bake the world a better place, because that's what we can do. And gosh, now we get onto the joy element. <laughs> bake, bake goods, homemade bake goods are my absolute weakness. And I had a career um, in the baking industry for 14 years gosh and it was amazing and I did get involved with all sorts of baked goods and I used to design the baked goods for the supermarkets um, before so it was really fantastic um, and I was very lucky <laughs> I did enjoy it immensely right I'm going to put a little uh, flower on here now I have used um, the little uh, well I'll get the little one that I, I've got for you in a moment but it's got these very small little flowers which I love and um, I'm a little sprigs which is the little wreath that I showed you last time so I'm just going to turn this upside down I cut out um, this one from the little lacy sheets, the lining paper that I put in here, this paper here, from the little scrappy side bits. And I wanna just put that down there. And then I've got a little blue one from the blue version of the polka dots. Um, and I'm going to just layer that on top. Like this. All right, so we were talking about joy. So I think, as far as joy is concerned, that we should um, 
choose joy. It's not something that um, you have. It's something that you choose every day, just like you choose to be happy. And I think it's something that we should choose every day. And it's a state of mind. So, um, you know, from someone who suffered from depression when I was in my 20s and 30s, I definitely recommend making a conscious effort to choose joy. Um, it, had, it changed my life that. So joy is definitely a conscious choice. Um, and I think do what what brings make do whatever it is that brings you that joy. So whatever that is, do that, and you will have that joy and happiness in your life. That is my advice on that one. Then we've got a little pearl on there. Right, so I'm loving how this is coming along now. Um, we're not got far to go. Uh, I'll just put this one to the side for the moment and we can work on this. Now this one over here um, is the pink polka dot. This is the lid. And what I did was I glued these two together. So let's just, I did it with my glue stick because I do do a little bit of stitching on the edge. But if you are not going to stitch on the edge, then, um, you know, I would suggest that you use a stronger glue than a glue stick right so it's just a case of getting these together here like that and this side just matching those up nicely and i would definitely start with the the front corners the the rounded edges to do that because the back um, you know, it's going to, you know, if there's a little slight overhang there, there's not. But if there was, um, the most important bit here is the front. All right, so we've got that done like that now. Now, um, what I did was I then turned this over and I marked the back here. Um, so I did that. And to save you having to enjoy that again, I then took the top and I marked the little lines with my pencil that are on the top of the lid. So where these lines are here, I placed this on the top like that, moved it down just a little bit, lining those edges up there. And I've just marked with my pencil the six lines there and the six lines there. And then I've just taken my scoreboard and drawn scored those lines there so i have done that um, and i'm not sure that you can see that but there are the score lines there and i have stitched around the edge of that one as well you don't have to do the stitching all right so now what i want to do is take my ruler and i want to start um, putting it on the first score line there like that and I want to just take my hand and just gently run it over, start bending the, the, the lid or the, the top of, of the top flap a little bit. So we want to just keep bending it over and I'm lining it up on each one of the score lines now. Um, and as I do it, it's just folding on those, those lines like that. And we will shape it in a minute. I just want to do the last one. There we go. So it's take it, starting to take a curve there. Then just bend it over like that. And you can just shape it how you want it. Each one of those is going to give it a nice shape. So it'll eventually sit really um, nice and flat like that. All right, so just use your finger and fold it along those lines. And there we have it. We've got a nice curve now. So that's what we do with that. All right, so that's ready to go. Um, we're going to take our base again, take those off. Um, and I have stuck some double-sided tape here, but glue would work just as well. <laughs> and again, I need my pokey tool. Gosh, it must have fallen on the floor or something. I'm just going to take a needle. Um, and I'm going to just lift the edge of the tape up 
and this tape does never lets go of me <laughs> and then i'm going to line this up we want to stick the bottom just over there so not too far up so what i do is i just take it like that it's just ever so much just at the top of that tape and the tape is half an inch thick i think yeah half an inch wide and then um, the same here so there we go and hopefully we have that nice and straight and then just press it down like that all right so there we go now it's just a case of sorting the top bit out and there again we want to just put on our little one of these so for me i'm going to i turn this upside down and um i know it's it should be it's find the halfway mark i, I recommend you do that um so i think it's about here just made a little mark with my pencil. I don't think I'll have to rub it out, but just in case, I want to line these bits up there and then just check. I think that's the right spot. So I'm going to just take my little sponge. Don't do it into your fingers. And I'm going to just press it through there like that. And then I'm going to just push the little brad through the hole there like that. And then just split that pin open. Um, and I did this because it's easier to, uh, the strength of two sheets of paper are far better than the one. So I'm just going to take my bone folder now and flatten that. There we go. And now, again, I've got a little uh, circle that I've cut out. I'm going to just put some glue on here. like that and now we'll just stick this over okay and that's just going to ensure that nothing um catches on that all right you'll be none the wiser really Okay, so that's looking great. Uh, and now what I did for the top was I took some baker's twine or butcher's twine, I think. Uh, this is pink and white. Um, you can use whatever you have, any kind of, you know, string. Um, I just made it, um, halved it here. Um, I'm going to just get that underneath. So I'm happy with that. I like to sort of make a bit of a not a knot but um i've twisted it now <laughs> just a little bit to go in there like that all right and that also keeps it open a little bit you know just slightly raised and then just bring those two together let's just then get that under there like that and um, we can twist it a few times there we go now I'm, i don't want it longer than that so i think i'm just going to grab my scissors and i think i'll just cut cut it off there and that's fine and then i've just taken a couple of these little flaggy bits which i've cut out and i'm going to just stick this on the end so I'm just going to put some fabric tack or one of your glues on there. And um, we'll just put those ends together. You can do them separately if you prefer. And then I'm, I think let's just lie them next to each other and then get this one on the top there. This is going to be a great place to house your recipes for the swap, your own recipes or, you know, recipes from um, your favorites, your family secret recipes. But I think this would also make a great gift for somebody if you had to give them some of your recipes and post it on as a happy mail or gift. Um, you know, I think it's going to look 
awesome in your journal because we're going to put this in our journal. Right now I'm just going to take my little ink dauber and just sort of get the edges done there. Like that. There we go. So we've got that done. Now all that remains is a bit of a fiddly bit, but let me just grab that little die cut for you. All right, so this is the one that I'm using. It's called um, Thin Lits by Sizzix and it's called Spring Foliage. So um, I really like this one and love the delicate bits. And of course, you don't have to use it as a wreath because I'm not. Um, I have cut out the various bits. So for example, this is one piece of the wreath and that bit I have over there and I'm gonna stick that down. So we want to just, um, I'm going to tuck that underneath there a little bit, I think, like that, so that it doesn't um, go over the edge of the pouch itself. And then we're going to just put on a couple of little bits of the flowers from that die. Now, if you don't have something like this, fussy cut flowers would work as well. So don't think, oh, I don't have a die cut machine. Go and look for fussy cut flowers in old books, magazines, you know, um, digitals. I do have digitals in my shop as well. All the pastel shades. Um, so, you know, don't uh, feel that you can't do this because you don't have one of these elements i don't want you to feel like that so i'm just sticking these on they are a little bit fiddly but they have such a beautiful effect i just couldn't help myself so i'm just putting um i've got one that's the one i'm sticking on now is from this paper here and then i had some very much like a slightly darker pink cardstock which i've stuck behind there so it comes in two different sizes. So I'm going to put the pink polka one behind the bottom first, and I'm just putting a different, slightly darker one on the top. And I like to use the scraps of the paper that I uh, use in the project so that we, you know, eliminate scraps as, met as much as possible. So um, you don't have to put two different colors. You could just put the one color, of course. Right, so we're just going to get to this pink side here. There we go. And I've sort of just moved it slightly over. There we go. So that's coming along. And then I did just take the blue polka dot um, paper and the lacy paper and made the same as I did in the corner here. And I think I was going to put a butterfly on here, but I didn't get to do it. You never know. <laughs> the butterflies might be showing their faces soon. Well, their wings more than their faces, isn't it? <laughs> right, so let's just get that stuck on there. There we go. So that's looking so adorable. And now what I want to do is I want to grab my little... Um, I had my little pearls here earlier all right so i've got um some of these tiny tiny pearls that i had i'm just putting a little drop of glue because i never trust the the glue um from these things and um helen gave me these beautiful tweezers thank you helen um now the trick is getting these pearls off here that's the trick so let's try our best. Right, there's one. Now, I never had this trouble earlier. Okay, so there we have it. Right, everybody, let's move this stuff out the way. We have now um, made our little pouch. Um, and these are going to go into our journals so that's going to look lovely um, and inside um, I will be making sure that I put in some more of those journal cards that we um, made before and, and you could put more than one set of four in there and of course hope and joy which I've just 
used as today's theme because you know we all need a bit of hope and joy in january don't we i definitely think that's a great um, theme for the month um, and remember cultivate joy every day because we live in hope uh, especially at the moment so thank you so much for spending time with me i hope you go and have a lot of fun making this and don't forget to pop into the facebook groups if you want to take part in the um, family secret recipe swap i look forward to sharing my recipes with you and seeing what yours are too so thanks everybody for spending time with me it's been a lovely um project so far and i hope you're excited to do this as i am and i'll speak to you guys very soon bye bye <music>